So we are now at the airport. It is such a strange feeling going on holiday for the first time in three years. But uh, I'm excited. I hope they are too. But they've been stressed out as parents do um, all morning. So yeah, I'm the dedicated bag handler at the minute apparently. So let's hope that changes throughout the day. And I'm in charge of feeding everyone as well. We've cleared security and I'm just waiting on my food. That's what the travel day revolves around for me. Um, and my dad's doing the typical dad thing of watching the departure board every 10 seconds. Because of the SSP discount, which is the company I work for, look at the price difference. That's how much we paid. That's how much we were meant to pay. Get in. So we got a bargain this cookie and cake for the plane and now I am stuffing my face with a chocolate muffin. After that Burger King, I shouldn't be hungry, but um, it's me we're talking about. I'm plane watching also. There's a big Emirates plane and I'm like, how does that get into the sky? Obviously I know how, but it's like, the physics of it all just amazes me. We've still got like an hour until we find out what gate. So we've been here too early. We got through security much quicker than we thought. So yes, a lot of hanging about. These are all the goods for the plane. <laughs> Those three packets of sweets I bought before, but I haven't had pickled onion monster munch in ages. We lost Paul, he's nowhere to be found. Uh, we've phoned him, we've told him what gate we're sitting near, but he hasn't showed up. We've no, we've no clue where our plane is, but we've just came and sat in a quieter bit, but it's no longer quiet. We landed, I didn't film the landing, but I'll take, film the taking off again when we take off from here. Yeah, it's been four years since we've been, so I'm just super excited. We have arrived at our hotel. You walk in and you've got this big massive sunbed, which I'm pretty sure I will be lying on. Um, a nice place to have lunch. Come in kitchen that's basically from Ikea and then some nice little living room. Is this all sliding open? No, it's decoration. That's decoration. Then in here is the bathroom. If we can... There. So the sink and then we've got toilet cubicles. A shower, a big massive shower. and another toilet and another sink so it splits into two the bathroom and then this is my room my mum's shouting me um and i've got a nice leafy print oh look at the fancy bedside cabinets 
I'm guessing that's the wardrobe through there, but yeah, mini a plug socket. So, and a TV, which Catherine will be just sitting <laughs> one evening. So yeah, that is our apartment. Sorry, I completely forgot. There's a uh, wardrobe up here and some nice towels. I like these. Good morning, everyone. Um, so let me show you what I'm wearing today. I am wearing this Hawaiian top and then I'm just wearing this black vest up underneath. These shorts sit way longer, but hey ho, we look like we're going on a hike in Hawaii. And these sandals. We're going to go for breakfast now. This is my favourite part of the holiday because I absolutely love a breakfast buffet. Uh, but I've already had a chocolate pastry this morning. So, yeah, wish me good luck. Here's our first course, some sort of chocolate cereal and some fruit. I don't know why I took a huge kiwi, but there we go. Got to keep the balance. Round two. Mm -hmm. So we are going a walk along into the local village town type thing because we couldn't see any restaurants near our hotel there are two restaurants in the hotel um, but you need to book them and I'm pretty sure they will be expensive and Catherine just wants pizza so yeah um, we're gonna have a little explore go down by the beach and then I think the plan is to either come and sit here or to go to the pool I'm just, I'm so stuffed full from breakfast, I ate too much. I need to learn my lesson. Always make the mistakes on the first day. Learn your lesson. Second day, you eat the right amount. Hello everyone, we're back from the walk. It was very nice, it wasn't that far. And I got to see a beach club, which was like heaven on earth. So, rotten hot. I'm going to jump in a pool in about 10 minutes. And yeah, I think the plan is just to spend the afternoon at the pool. So it is currently raining and the rain is freezing cold. So we're going away from the pool. I also fell asleep for like 45 minutes. So yeah. This afternoon is going to consist of playing Sims and I need to build a retirement village because I've played the Sims for so long that they're on like great grandchildren. So I'm doing up Willow Creek which is going to take me a while. I'm now going to insert some photos of this morning's walk for you, um, just to give you sort of a vibe of what the place is like. There's a resort 10, 15 minutes away by car. <laughs> it's an hour and a half walk, but yeah, by bus or by taxi, it's like 10, 15 minutes. Um, that's where we always stay. And it's got more in it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I forgot what I was saying mid-sentence there, but um, it's nice enough. The town's, like, quite quaint and, like, there's loads of old houses, which is nice. But I was walking up these steps and then there was this woman walking her dog. Um, so I used to take Spanish at school, so I went, hola, and she went, hola, niña, which means hola, child, like, hello, child. I'm like, hello? Like a fully fledged adult. <laughs> so it turns out that I am absolutely burnt stupid. This is even sore to touch. And I will be screaming in the shower. Excuse the water noise in the background, but I am dreading going in the shower. See as soon as I realised how bad it was. And every time that I move now, it's really, really painful. So, haha. <laughs> and also, my face is broke out in loads of spots. So, thank goodness I brought makeup with me. But I'm going to get it over sooner rather than later. Because it's sitting here, stinging my leg. More burn sites have been discovered. Honestly, I'm convinced that Scottish folk never get a suntan, we just burn. Look at this. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so apparently we're going for the Violet Beauregard style. By the way, this drip mark is just from the perfume. But, yeah, blue top, blue trousers, white cardigan, and then my rose gold sandals you can see in the background. That is tonight's outfit. 
um i think we're gonna have some cocktails before we go out and then go out for dinner i don't know where i just roll with it at this point it's so annoying when one bits of my bob sticks out there we go finito so that is obviously me already you've seen my outfit um time for a little bit of a cocktail never seen this variety before so we'll see how it tastes missing my cocktail buddy though Neve wish you were here um and it's raining again fabulous cocktail rating is probably about a six out of ten i realized when i read the ingredients it's a fruity wine cocktail I'm not a big fan of them so we are going to eat in one of these restaurants i'm not too sure which one nice view because there is the harbour this is like the little town thing i mentioned earlier it's not that far a walk which i really like and yeah it should be good you give an evil smile still raining it's got heavier we're real happy about it anyway I've ordered pizza, I'm happy, I've got my daily collection sorted and yeah, are you wanting to be in it or not? She's just smiling because she's happy. Drunk spoons consumed as well. Anyway, yeah. We're in our natural habitat, eating our dessert. He's joining in now too apparently. The branding or something. It's actually got to the point where it's less painful to stand and sit. So for the last half of the meal, I just stood and watched the scene. Then she wants to be in the video again. You're very much against it. Oh, we're be all being in. Yeah, just ignore him. We don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, nah. don't. What's going on? <laughs> I heard. Heading back to our accommodation, I think, because I've got another cocktail to consume and there's card games to be played. And it means that I can act weird with my legs without anybody judging. For us Scots, right, he's compared this place to Stirling and then the place where we're staying, like Alawa, but with a nice hotel. So we are now back from dinner. Um, we finally found a cat roaming about the hotel. We always like to make a cat friend on holiday, but this is not the sort of establishment that lets cats wander around. Um, but we did find one, immediately ran away, quite sad. 